estimate each of the following using general rule this is our question number first so we will round off to the maximum digits so a part 730 is converted to 700 and 998 is converted to 1000 because it is nearest to a 1000 only two numbers apart from 1000 so this is our general rule and based upon this we will do rest of our questions so now simple addition problem 1000 plus 700 gives you 1700 or 1700 that's how we will do it now the b part 796 is converted to 800 and 314 is closest to 300 therefore according to general rule we are going to subtract it because we are asked to subtract so 500 is our answer now here it would be closer to 13,000 and the other part is closer to 3,000 now simply addition 0 0 0 3 plus 3 gives you 6 and 1 that is 16,000 likewise D part 28,000 minus 21,000 is nothing but 7,000 that makes your question 1 give a rough estimate by rounding off to the nearest hundreds and also a closer estimate by rounding off to nearest ten. so we will do in two steps first we will do rounds off towards nearest hundreds then followed by nearest ten. so first of all we are doing it towards nearest hundreds 439 is closer to 400 therefore 400 334 is towards 300 and 4317 when rounding off towards hundreds it gives 4300 and adding 5000 now we will do this was done for the nearest hundreds therefore we are writing as nearest hundreds but we are also asked to find it in terms of nearest tens so we will do it in terms of nearest tens now so it goes like this nearest tens the ENS therefore 439 is closer to 440 and 334 is closer to 330 because it is less than 5 that is 35 and then 4320 now simply addition problem that gives you 9 6 plus 4 give you 10 carry 1 5 that is 5090 5, so likewise we will do B part first nearest hundreds you can always check it from here and similarly for the B part nearest tens whenever we ask to find about nearest tens we focus our attention towards tens part and likewise in terms of hundreds focus on hundreds part now simply subtracting them gives you following answer C part so we have written it in terms of nearest hundreds and also in terms of nearest tens so now we are simply going to subtract because we are asked to subtract the numbers so 0 0 9 and here it would be 0 4 4 so that makes for like 40,900 now nearest tens 0 that gives you 15 minus 7 is 8 that would be 9 here it would be again 0 here it would be 4, four that gives you 4 lakh 40,980 now the C part 8300 minus 500 when we round off it in terms of nearest hundreds and 8830 minus 490 in terms of rounding off towards 10 so 0 0 13 minus 5 is 8 and 7 so 7800 0 13 minus 9 gives you 4 
and here 12 minus 4 gives you 8 and 7 so 7840 that makes your question number second question third estimate the following products using general rule so again we are applying and we are doing it as we did in question number first general rule is nothing but towards the extreme left side we are rounding off towards the left extreme side so 578 is closer to 600 whereas 161 is closer to 200 so multiplying by our trick four zeros right four zero as it is and multiply the rest of the part that is six into two gives you twelve so it turns out to be one lakh twenty thousand now b part rounding towards the extreme that is thousands part so five thousand and in three thousand in the next numeral that is our general rule rounding off towards the extreme left digit so writing zeros as it is there are six zeros here therefore we will write six zeros one two three four five six and we are left with five into three that gives you fifteen so it turns out to be the following number now c part again applying the general rule 1000 into 592 is closer to 600 so therefore here we have five digits that is five zeros so we will write five zeros as it is one two three four five and we have six ones are six so that gives you six lakh d part applying general rule that gives you nine thousand because it is closer to nine thousand and here twenty is closer to thirty so nine thousand into thirty again applying the trick we have four zeros write four zeros as it is one two three four what we are left with is nine into three gives you twenty seven so it turns out to be two lakh seventy thousand so that is your answer for the question number third and that's how you do all the questions